And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. All right, temperatures right now really have not moved much since this morning. We've been staying in the lower 60s and upper 50s thanks to the cloud cover and the lack of sunshine and the rainfall. 59 Galveston, good afternoon, Winnemac, Morocco, Kentland, 62, a tad bit warmer to the northwest because they're seeing a little bit more sunshine. I want to take a look here at uh, our rainfall accumulations that we've had at least over the last 24 hours. Boone County, Clinton County, the western side of uh, Howard County, even far southeastern Carroll and Cass County saw that nice banding set up where they've had three plus inches of rain down in Boone County, Lebanon, uh, three inches in far southern portions of uh, Clinton County, about 1.6 inches there in Frankfurt, about two and a half west of Kokomo, only about four tenths in Monticello here at the Purdue Airport, about a half an inch of rain fell. So it was kind of hit and miss of where that banding really set up and they're still getting some rainfall, but it is diminishing as we were saying this morning. Low pressure is right behind me there across Ohio. Everything's kind of rotating or pivoting around that low, but as we that low moves its way eastward, eastward we're going to be seeing these showers diminish and we're going to get the sun out. As you can see the far northwestern side of the viewing area, those clouds are starting to uh, come to an end and get more sun out of here toward Rensselaer, Remington, even Fowler. Starting to see a few peaks of sun, but still some light rain, Kokomo, Frankfurt, down to Linden, Romney, Crawfordsville at this hour. So futurecast will show right after lunchtime here today. We're going to be seeing those showers dissipate. Maybe just a stray shower this afternoon, but overall we will start to dry up and get the sun out here. Tomorrow morning may, may wake up to a few areas of patchy fog, but then we get toward the afternoon hours. We'll increase clouds here by three, maybe a stray shower, and then a thunderstorm or two could be out of the question here by Thursday evening, six o'clock. And as we get toward Friday, we'll keep the clouds in the forecast for Friday morning. This is seven o'clock in the morning. We have scattered shower, thunder shower to Friday afternoon into the evening hours as well. So we're not done with the rain quite yet, but we'll be done for today. After about one to three o'clock, we'll dwindle those rain chances down. We'll get more sunshine out. We'll see temperatures get down pretty cool tonight since that low is we're going to bring in a little bit cooler air. A little bit of patchy fog could be possible tomorrow morning. Lows in the lower 50s and we'll work up into the mid to upper 70s tomorrow with those scattered chances for some showers, maybe a rumble of thunder or two. Now going past Friday, we are going to be seeing some chances for some scattered showers Saturday afternoon. But once we get to Sunday, we'll clear out. But our next chance of rain comes in as early as Monday. Once again, some showers and storms. And then we could be watching a severe potential for some strong storms here for Tuesday evening as that wave will come through and then we'll kind of uh, work in drier air for Wednesday and Thursday of next week. But in all in total, seven days from right now, we could see about one inch, one and a half inches to about two inches from the Weather Prediction Center. So we'll watch that closely. Could see some flooding issues with that. Since we'll be seeing rain for the next couple of days, 76 Friday, 80 on Saturday, sunny for Sunday, 82. Then working up into the mid 80s for the middle and uh, early portion of next week. We're watching that storm system on Tuesday that could bring in those stronger storms Tuesday night and into Wednesday morning.